take a look at this reach-in freezer. It's been like 98 degrees here. You know the kitchens here where I live don't have air conditioning. So let's see what we get into. Got the evaporator section over it looks clean yeah the coil we could scrub up a little bit okay. i don't know if i trust that condensate loop but i think what i do is i don't like what the pressure is looking like there the static pressure or the running pressure i think i'm going to recover the charge pull a vacuum see if it holds and then weigh in the correct charge it's 11 ounces and then see what it looks like I think that's where I'm at on this guy. Breaker 1-9. Break out the nerd. Check. The nerd. One thing that's nice about the nerd over the Mr. 45 is you get an actual long cord. So sometimes you don't need a... Uh, extension cord like today show you guys some old school troubleshooting freezer not sure if the uh, it's critical charge freezer cap tube holds 11 ounces we're not sure if the charge look right to me it looks low at its static pressure <clears throat> you want to take all the mysteries out of your troubleshooting get your recovery machine get your scale zero out and let's weigh what we pull out of that machine so let's go ahead and do that cover our charge and see if it's low then we can go ahead and we're nitrogenize it and see where the leaks at Short on charge. Okay, that's uh, all the gas that was in the machine inside the recovery machine purged. Let's quiet him down. Into the tank, came out to nine ounces. I like how it beeps at you to let you know it's done. I like that. So uh, I'm short on charge. All right, I got my nitrogen going. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens here. See if we can. Uh, I want to see if I can hear anything. Biggest suspicion would probably be that condensate loop. All right, I was looking down here for a leak. I don't see any oil, I wasn't getting any detection. It held pressure for like 15 to 20 minutes. It didn't move, that doesn't mean much. Um, but I did notice this, so I get this cleaned up, pull that fan blade out. It's pretty, pretty dirty. I don't see any oil down there, but I'm pulling a vacuum right now, then I think we'll recharge and we could sniff around some more. Charge weighed back in. We're coming down now. Um, 
deal with that. What I need to do though is I'm going to come back. I'm going to order up. Uh, it's Saturday morning. I'm going to order up a 032 quarter inch liquid line dryer. And I'm going to talk to the customer. I'm going to replace that condensate loop. If for anything for maintenance. The evaporator checked out good, but I got a feeling it's got a small leak somewhere. So that's going to be my plan. Stay tuned for that. We'll change out that condensate loop and that loop line dryer. And then I'll see if they get all the product out when we after we do that and we can pressurize it overnight. All right, that call there is more of a of a eh, kind of like I call it triage. It's Saturday morning. I'm booked to the max. It's hot out. I'm trying to keep the sun off the dome. Um, yeah, yeah, Tom Powell. It's hot for here. It's 98, and that's uh, it's pretty hot for Santa Cruz, considering most of the businesses and the residential houses don't have air conditioning. Office buildings have air conditioning. I've told you guys that before. Um. That unit has a leak somewhere in it, and I didn't spend a whole lot of time looking for it. I think it would be a good practice to uh, replace that discharge condensate loop and liquid line dryer. So for you young guys out here, here's the trick to this. A lot of you guys might not agree with me doing that and splitting. It was basically weigh the charge out, confirm I'm short, nitrogenize it for an obvious big leak which we're only a couple ounces short, it's not a big leak. Pull a vacuum, weigh some gas back in there, the correct charge, watch it work and split, but make a write up. But here's the trick. If you communicate with your customer, take them by the hand. Hey, this is what we're doing today, it's Saturday. You don't want me in your kitchen anyways. We'll come back next week, we'll get all the parts. We'll, we'll do this, A, B, and C. We can get into it, see if we can get it all solidified. And you communicate with who's in charge, not the manager, maybe the manager and the owner. Sometimes they're different people. For me, it's a lot of times it's the same person. So I have a lot of mom and pop restaurants. We don't have a lot of chain restaurants out here. Find out who's in charge, communicate, and then you can get this done just fine.